top 10 super hit Netflix movies to watch right now, 2022. There are hundreds of movies on Netflix right now, but finding the best one is always the trickier part. Well, there is nothing for you to worry about because we are all packed up and you know we've got the best. Hey guys, welcome to your entertainment channel, Netflix Tops, where we tell you all about the top rated movies and series on Netflix. So grab your popcorn and stay with us until the end of this video, because in today's video, we are going to list down the top 10 best Netflix movies to watch now in 2022. So let's get started. Number 10, based on the international bestseller by Robert Harris, Munich is a 2005 historical drama film produced and directed by Steven Spielberg and co-written by Tony Kushner. The film received five Oscar nominations. In 2017, the film was named the 16th best film of the 21st century so far by the New York Times. The film begins in autumn of 1938, and Europe stands on the brink of war. Adolf Hitler is preparing to invade Czechoslovakia, and Neville Chamberlain's government desperately seeks a peaceful solution. With the pressure building, Hugh Legat, British civil servant, and Paul von Hartmann, German diplomat, travel to Munich for the emergency conference. As negotiations begin, the two old friends find themselves at the center of a web of political subterfuge and very real danger. Number 9. A 2015 American war drama film is titled Beasts of No Nation, which is written, co-produced, shot, and directed by Carrie Joy Fukunaja. The film is based on the 2005 novel of the same name by Uzudima Iwilia and is ranked among super hit movies on Netflix. The film follows the journey of a young boy, Agu, who is forced to join a group of soldiers in a fictional West African country. While Agu fears his commander and many of the men around him, his fledgling childhood has been brutally shattered by the war raging through his country, and he is first torn between conflicting revolution and fascination, depicts the mechanics of war, and does not shy away from explicit, visceral detail, and paints a complex, difficult picture of Agnew as a child soldier. Number 8. Based on the stage musical of the same name by Jonathan Larson, Tick Tick Boom is a 2021 American biographical musical drama film directed by Lin-Manuel Miranda in his featured directorial debut. The film follows John, a young theater composer who's waiting tables at the New York City diner in the 1990s while writing what he hopes will be the next great American musical. Days before he's due to showcase his work in a make or break performance, John is feeling the pressure from everywhere from his girlfriend, Susan, who dreams of an artistic life beyond New York City, from his friend, Michael, who has moved on from his dream to a life of financial security. Amidst an artistic community being ravaged by the AIDS epidemic, with the clock ticking, John is at a crossroads and faces a question everyone must reckon with. What are we meant to do with the time we have? Number seven, a 2021 American apocalyptic black comedy film, Don't Look Up, is written, produced, and directed by Adam McKay. In the movie, Kate DiBiaschi, an astronomy grad student, and her professor, Dr. Randall Mindy, make an astonishing discovery of a comet orbiting within the solar system. The first problem is that it's on a direct collision course with Earth. And the other problem, no one really seems to care. So with the help of Dr. Oglethorpe, Kate and Randall embark on a media tour that takes them from the office of an indifferent President Orlean and her psychopathic son and chief of staff, Jason to the airwaves of The Daily Rip, an upbeat morning show hosted by Bree and Jack. With only six months until the comet makes impact, managing the 24-hour news cycle and gaining the attention of the social media-obsessed public before it's too late, proving shockingly comical. But what will it take to get the world to just look up? Number six, the best international feature film at the 94th Academy Awards is titled The Falls. It is a 2021 Taiwanese film directed and written by Chang Meng Hong and starring Alyssa Che and Jingle Wang. The film won four awards and was nominated for 11 at the 58th Golden Horse Awards. During the COVID-19 pandemic, a mother and her teenage daughter's relationship becomes strained while they quarantine in their apartment. A mother has been hearing sounds of waterfalls since then. What happens next is very surprising. Number five. Co-written and directed by Wergas Bontija, Photocopier is a 2021 Indonesian crime mystery drama film. The film was a massive success as it has a rating of 100% on Rotten Tomatoes. It won the most Serta awards by a single film. The story is about a girl named Sir. After her drunk selfie circulated online, Sir loses her scholarship as she is accused of bringing disgrace to her family. 
However, Sir has no recollection of the night's events, as she blacks out when attending a college party. Then Sir seeks for help from her childhood friend, Amen, who also works and lives at the campus as a photocopier, to find out what actually happened that night. Number 4. A 2021 South Korean space western film directed by Jo Sung Hee is titled Space Sweepers. It was released on Netflix on February 5, 2021. The film stars Sung Joon Ki, Kim Tae Ri, Jin Soon Koi, and Yo Hoo Jin. It is a film worth watching. The story sets in the year 2092, where space is full of dangerous floating garbage like discarded satellites and deserted spaceships. The crew of the Victory travels through space looking for garbage they can make money off, while also competing with junk collector ships from other countries and using the speediness of their craft to defeat their rivals. Later, after snatching a crashed space shuttle in the latest debris chase, Spaceship Victory's crew members find a seven-year-old girl inside. They realize that she's the human-like robot wanted by UTS Space Guard and decide to demand ransom in exchange. What happens next will definitely thrill you. Number 3. A remake of the 2018 Danish film of the same name, The Guilty, as a 2021 American crime thriller film directed and produced by Antoine Farquhar. The film stars Jake Gyllenhaal and Christina Vidal. It is a record-breaking film as it has 9.1 rating on IMDb and a 93% on Rotten Tomatoes. The film takes place over the course of a single morning in a 911 dispatch call center. Call operator Joe Baylor tries to save a caller in grave danger, but he soon discovers that nothing is as it seems, and facing the truth is the only way out. Number 2. A 2021 American action comedy film, Red Notice, is written, directed, and produced by Ross and Marshall Thurnberg. The plot of the movie follows Dwayne Johnson, starring as an FBI agent who reluctantly teams up with the renowned art thief, Ryan Reynolds, in order to catch an even more notorious criminal, Gail Godot. The film marks the third collaboration between Thunberg and Johnson, following Central Intelligence in 2016 and Skyscraper. When an Interpol issued Red Notice, the highest level warrant to hunt and capture the world's most wanted goes out. The FBI's top profiler, John Hartley, is on the case. His global pursuit finds him smack dab in the middle of a daring heist where he's forced to partner with the world's greatest art thief, Nolan Booth, in order to catch the world's most wanted art thief, the Bishop. The high-flying adventure that ensues takes the trio around the world, across the dance floor, trapped in a secluded prison, into the jungle, and worst for all of them, constantly into each other's company. Number 1. A 1982 science fiction film directed by Ridley Scott is titled Blade Runner. Polarized critics, some praised its thematic complexity and visuals, while others critiqued its slow pacing and lack of action. It later became an acclaimed cult film, regarded as one of the all-time best science fiction films. The film is set in a dystopian future Los Angeles of 2019, in which synthetic humans known as replicants are bioengineered by the powerful Tyrell Corporation to work on space colonies. When a fugitive group of advanced replicants, led by Roy Beatty, escapes back to Earth, burnt-out cop Rick Decker reluctantly agrees to hunt them down. And this brings us to the end of the video. What do you think about today's video? Share with us in the comments section below. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to our channel for amazing movie reviews coming your way. And thank you for watching.